Well, really good to see you today. Um, sorry that I'm running slightly late this morning, um, fighting with the keyboard, getting things set up. Anyway, good to uh, good to be here, and um, yeah, good a good weekend um, really. Although we had to cancel or postpone yesterday's outdoor service at St John's, um, which is going to take place on Sunday of next week. Um, so um, do come along to that if you can. Um, but actually, uh, Saturday was a really good day because we um, resumed our Lichgate um, stall once again at St John's and Coffee Morning um, ran as well. And very excitingly, we, we had a first messy church session um, on Saturday afternoon, which we were able to meet outside um, and um, got actually a good number of people come along. We had a really good time. We looked at... Um, the feeding of the 5,000 and families did their um, activities in their boats um, and we um, we sang together and then enjoyed a picnic and um, yeah it was really good so um, we give thanks um, for that today and uh, we remember um, the Bishop of Lyon, uh, Irenaeus, um, teacher of the faith from the second century um, who was um, yeah, heavily involved um, in establishing Christian communities in the south of France um, and defining Christian theology um, and fighting against heresy and establishing the faith. Um, so general all round good egg. Um, so we remember Irenaeus today and um, we'll be sharing um, Psalm 80 and uh, a passage from Romans. We're coming towards the end of Romans now. So let's, as always, just take a moment of stillness as we bring ourselves before God. O oh Lord, open our lips. Our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will. The world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. So to the words of Psalm 80. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, Shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your mighty strength and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears. You give them abundance of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbours, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Turn us again, O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt, and drove out the nations, and planted it. You made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its walls so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the wood tears it off and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and behold. Cherish this vine which your right hand has planted and the branch that you made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. 
Let your hand be upon the man at your right hand, the son of man you made so strong for yourself. And so will we not go back from you? Give us life and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We're missing out Job chapter 33 today. Um, clearly, uh, those of us who are keen can catch up with that if we want to. Let's move to Romans chapter 14, verse 13 to the end, where Paul writes this. <clears throat> Let us therefore no longer pass judgment on one another, but resolve instead never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the ways of another. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. If your brother or sister is being injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause the ruin of one for whom Christ died. So do not let your good be spoken of as evil. The kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The one who thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and therefore and has human approval. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual edification. Do not for the sake of food destroy the work of God. Everything is indeed clean, but it is wrong for you to make others fall by what you eat. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that makes your brother or sister stumble. The faith that you have, have as your own conviction before God. Blessed are those who have no reason to condemn themselves because of what they approve. But those who have doubts are condemned if they eat because they do not act from faith. For whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. So to the Benedictus. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of all to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Well, let's turn to our prayers of intercession. As we remember Irenaeus, the teacher of the faith, we remember that those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens and those who have instructed many in virtue 
will shine like stars for all eternity. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Irenaeus, for his teaching, the ways in which he set out orthodox Christian theology. And Lord, we thank you for those who continue to do the same, for those academics and theologians who continue to consider and discern orthodox theology today for those who work in our ever-changing world to discern your words voice to us lord we continue to pray for those who exercise leadership within the church especially giving you thanks this weekend for those who've been ordained either as deacons or priests Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would be with them. And Lord, we continue to pray for those who are considering their own calling and vocation in any different, in any kind of way, recognising that your call upon each of us is unique. Lord, we pray for those within our church communities here in our benefice of Staple Grove and Norton who are currently reflecting upon your call for their life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we give you thanks again this weekend for the signs of new life, especially for the successful messy church. For the families who were able to come and for the fellowship that was shared and as the 40 or so of us enjoyed the time together so we pray that the seeds sown there will bear fruit in our lives we pray for the ongoing plans with our children's work discussions about the treasure hunt to take place in Norton over the school holidays and plans being made for that and for the other initiatives including Messy Church and Open the Book, work with our schools. Lord we ask for your abundant blessing to be upon these that you would as Jesus did with the the fish and the bread at the feeding of the 5,000 that somehow yeah, your kingdom will grow way beyond our own abilities and way beyond the sum of our parts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue to pray for the world and those who lead us in a, in a difficult weekend for our government. So we pray that your Holy Spirit will lead those at the top, particularly our Prime Minister and new Health Secretary. So Lord, we pray that you would grant them wisdom as they seek to guide us in the next few weeks. Lord, again, we simply ask that your will be done as we seek the, the right balance between freedom and safety. So we ask that you would enable that to be found. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue to pray for those areas of the world where there is suffering, especially continuing to hold before you those victims of the um, collapsing block of flats in Miami. Lord, we bring before you the victims of those who've died, families and friends of those who are still missing, and indeed those responsible for searching through the debris. Lord, we pray for your safety upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we remember those around the world who are suffering, so we bring before you those from our own community 
who need our prayers. Those who are ill, those who are anxious or lonely, those simply struggling with a part of life at the moment. Lord, I bring before you those uh, school classes who are isolating at the moment, including a number at Norton School. So I bring before you the, the teachers, the children, the families, recognising the pressures that that brings about. Lord, we pray that you would grant strength and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, I pray for those who grieve, those who've lost loved ones in recent times and are now adapting to a new way of being. And Lord, whilst we celebrate and rejoice in the promise of new life, eternal life, one through Jesus Christ, so too we recognise the pain of separation. So Lord, we pray that you would grant strength and consolation to those who grieve. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we pray for the day ahead of us, for the meetings, the activities, the conversations, the decisions, the encounters that will take place today. So we ask that your Holy Spirit will go before us. So we remembered in our church service yesterday, how a service actually takes place outside of church in our everyday lives. We pray in the words of the Acts of the Apostles that we would be like Jesus who went about doing good and healing a broken world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So we bring before you our collect for today. God of peace, who through the ministry of your servant Irenaeus strengthened the two true faith and brought harmony to your church. Keep us steadfast in your true religion and renew us in faith and love. That we may always walk in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And as our Saviour Jesus has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Really good to have you with me um, this morning. I hope that you have a really good day and look forward to catching up with you soon. Go well.